What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again. We got some official images of some really good shoes on the way, so stay tuned. Hit the like button if you do like this content and let me know what shoes you guys are most looking forward to. Without further ado, let's get into the sneakers, you dig? In celebration of the 2024 WNBA season, Jordan Brand has unveiled the official WNBA Air Jordan 3 collaboration. The WNBA Air Jordan 3 Desert Campbell releases July 13th for a retail price of 200 bucks. This exclusive WNBA edition will feature a Desert Camel upper in all canvas material. The tongues display a white and bordered Jumpman logo, while the heel tabs feature a black Jumpman logo. The insoles will feature the WNBA logo, which definitely seals the deal for the collaboration. Of course, you got the visible air units and semi-translucent outsole. Let me know what you guys think about this Desert Camel Air Jordan 3. Next up, we got a unique colorway of the Nike Air Max 90 Futur, which drops later this month for a retail price of 150 bucks. This action green, black, and bright crimson color scheme on this definitely stands out. That's what we're talking about it. As you can see, these are crafted from a mix of textile mesh, leather, and plastic overlays. This design provides an enhanced stability with the TPU detailing around the lace unit. I like the dual pull tabs as well, and of course, the visible Air Max unit on the heels for maximum cushioning. Give me your thoughts and opinions about this colorway and the shoe overall. Do you see yourself adding this to your collection? Next up, if you're a sneakerhead that doesn't follow trends, you might like this Air Jordan 1 Mid Gray Suede dropping later this month for a retail price of 125 bucks. These feature a cell leather toe box. You also have gray shades on the suede swoosh logos and overlays. These also come with a cell midsole and I like the color combination and materials used. Once again, priced at $125. Really good step up for the Jordan 1 Mids being that they usually have subpar materials. Now they're stepping it up. Let me know if this is something that interests you. In honor of the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris, Jordan Brand is set to unveil a unique Air Jordan 4 Paris edition. The Air Jordan 4 SE Paris Olympics drops July 27th for a retail price of 225 bucks. This Jordan 4 SE comes in smoke gray, ivory gray, cement gray, and particle gray as the color scheme. The upper features suede and nubuck materials. Once again, be on the lookout for these dropping July 27th. They will be dropping at Jordan Brand retailers and both in-store and online at nike.com for a retail price of $225 for men's and $170 for grays. Supreme has confirmed the Shanghai exclusive Nike Air Force One Low Red Swoosh releasing May 18th for a retail price of $123. These come in a white and red color combination with white being the base, full leather build. You have red popping up on the swoosh logos as well as the Supreme emblem on the ankle. And in other Supreme news, we just got word that there will be a Supreme Nike Air Max One pack dropping in 2025. Looking forward to seeing what they look like once we have more information i definitely will bring them to you but based on this mock-up is this something you're excited for next i want to briefly switch gears and talk about angel reese and congratulate her on her deal with reebok she will be debuting the reebok solution low in a custom colorway while she's out there hooping these come in a white and pink color scheme and have some details that are more specific to her on the tongues you'll see angel which represents her name she will be hooping for chicago sky this season i'm curious to see what other colorways she will have for this shoe but I just wanted to mention it because it is a good thing to see more WNBA athletes getting shoes or signature shoes or even partnership. Next, we got some official images of the Air Jordan 3 wings, which are dropping July 30th for a retail price of 210 bucks. This is a very unique Air Jordan 3, in my opinion. They feature white, fire red, off-white, vintage green and rose for the color combination. This shoe represents the Jordan Wings Scholarship Program, which helps young people pursue their dreams regardless of their circumstances. These feature an all white leather upper with gray elephant print on the toe and heel overlay. You'll notice fire red accents on the eyelids as well as the Jordan Jumpman logo on the tongues. Other details include the floral pattern on the mud guards, lace collar and ankle. One thing that stands out to me about this Jordan 3 is that translucent outsole. You also have the faded images of of rose stems on the pattern canvas around the mud guard. I like that a lot. I think these are pretty unique. I don't know how limited they will be, but let me know if you guys are interested in this Air Jordan 3. Next up, we finally have official images of the Nike Sabrina 2 Cave Purple dropping June 28th for a retail price of 130 bucks. And let me tell you, I am impressed. The color scheme on the Sabrina 2 is crazy. It features Cave Purple, white, black raspberry, violet frost, and denim turquoise as the color scheme. And I have to be honest, I was a fan of the Sabrina 1, not enough to grab a pair. I have yet to grab a pair of the Sabrina 1, but this Sabrina 2, to me, 
is definitely stepping up in the right direction. Give me Kobe vibes all day. I like the color combination, the materials used. I can't wait to see these in hand. Very similar to the Sabrina one. As you can see, this one here has a predominantly black upper crafted with various materials complemented by the shades of purple. I do like the color combination. You have the iconic S logo on the tongues with her signature eye on the lateral foot. Other notable details about this shoe include the iridescent swoosh logos. I really like that. You also have the air zoom unit on the midsole and react foam cushioning. Definitely a top tier basketball shoe. Can't wait to see this in hand. Do you see yourself picking up a pair? Next, I wanna talk about some colorways of the Nike KD17. We know that on the 24th of May for a retail price of 150, the Nike KD17 penny colorway debuts. However, we have some more images of newer colorways that are coming down the line, including an Aunt Pearl and just a few other colorways like the Weatherman. Let me know if any of these KD17s is something that you are looking forward to adding to your collection. Once we get more official images and release dates, of course I will bring that to you guys. Let's move on to the next shoe. Next, we have more images and information about the Nike Zoom Freak 6 Roses dropping August 16th for a retail price of 150 bucks. The Zoom Freak 6 Roses comes in the Coconut Milk, Aster Pink, Cell, University Red, and Sand Drift color scheme. This iteration blends leather and semi-transparent mesh. Then you also have the Rose graphics and bordered across the midfoot and tongue. I do like the design. Once again, these drop August 16th for a retail price of 150 in men's sizes. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to adding these to your collection. Next up, be on the lookout for the Adidas AE1 Georgia Bulldogs, retailing for 120 bucks. Adidas basketball is honoring Anthony Edwards' alma mater, the Georgia Bulldogs, through the latest drop in the black and red color combination. Unfortunately, there is no official Bulldogs branding, but the color combination represents the school colors. Well. And as you know, this is definitely one of the best basketball shoes right now on the market, designed for performance. It has the boost midsole and a robust cage for responsive and cushioning, and the traction is definitely impressive as well. A lot of people like these shoes. If you have not tried the AE ones yet, give it a try. Next up, sticking with the future NBA superstar, Anthony Edwards, we got a lot of colorways of the AE one lows to look forward to. Let me know if you guys are a fan of any one of these that we're seeing. No official release dates, but they will start dropping in July. So look forward to that. And they will retail for only 110 bucks. When it comes to the AE1 Low, the tech specs are pretty much the same as the AE1. You still have the TPU overlays, the three stripe branding on the molded back heel tabs. Beneath the foot, you got the light boost cushioning coupled with the full length torsion plate. I do like the support and stability for the AE, so I'm pretty sure the lows will be just the same, but these are just some different colorways and styles to look forward to. Let me know if any one of these guys stand out to you. You can expect to find these at select Adidas basketball retailers, both in store and online, and of course, including adidas.com for a retail price of only 110 bucks. It's good to see a great shoe at an affordable price. The AE ones were only 120, now these are 110. That's something great to see. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to any one of these colorways in the comments below. So it seems as the year goes on, more and more impressive releases are coming around when it comes to basketball shoes, retros, and casual shoes just alike. Let me know what you guys feel like are the standouts here. Anything in this video that you have to have in your collection, make sure you fill us in in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what the Sabrina 2 is looking like in hand along with the Zoom Freak 6 and AE1 Low. Give me your feedback, of course, in the comments. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you check out one of these videos popping up and make sure you hit that like button before you leave. I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.